This is the Babwata National Park, Buffalo Core area. In the heart of Namibia lies a land of untamed beauty, where the roar of a lion echoes through the vast savanna, and the mighty buffalo roam free. Hence the name Buffalo Core area. This is the Babwata National Park, a place of raw natural power and unyielding spirit. Here, hunters from all corners of the world come to test their skills against the ultimate prey, the Cape Buffalo. In this epic adventure, we follow a group of fearless hunters as they embark on a journey of a lifetime deep into the heart of the wild to face the ultimate challenge. Witness the raw power of the African wilderness, where every step may be your last. Today we're going to go hunt buffalo um, for, for meat as well. We're looking for, for some buffalo that we hunt for our anti-poaching units that are distributed throughout our area. We supply them with meat so that they can keep going and look after our animals and it's part of our duties to provide them with much needed meat. Past. So, good morning everyone. Uh, we are in the Babata National Park. Um, next to me is Emil Kirchner from Kaukau Safaris. Um, we are here today to hunt some buffaloes, I guess. Yeah. And um, yeah, we just took a test shot with the, with the rifle. Um, I'm bringing my uh, 404 Jeffrey and um, yeah, the shot was, was pretty centered. I think the trackers were really happy with the shot. Yeah, well, good shoot and great caliber. I'm looking forward to, to a good hunt and hopefully a nice buffalo. Yeah, we now um, we actually saw some buffalo when we when we drove from the from the camp, and um, we are now trying to get back to it, and uh, we're going on the tracks and trying to get it on foot. Yeah, so we'll we'll follow them and see maybe we can catch up with them. Perfect. <laughs> right, let's go. The challenges of hunting buffalo. Um, buffalo are very alert animals. They have excellent uh, sense of smell, hearing, and sight. They are main predatory species for lion. In this area, there's a lot of lion. So catching up to, to a buffalo and getting within position to take a, take a shot requires quite a, quite a bit of work and it's a challenging, challenging hunt and that's one of the reasons we keep doing this. Let's go. On the first day we went out early in the morning uh, scouting for buffaloes. We picked up a track quite early in the morning, followed him into some really thick stuff. But unfortunately when we found, caught up to him he was really bedded. We came up to him about 10 yards before we realized he was there. Die Werte frischer ist als die anderen Werte. Die anderen Werte, weil, weil, weil 
He was unaware of us for, for a moment, but we just couldn't get a shot at him. And then the wind swirled, and he got up, and for us, luckily, he ran in the opposite direction. Followed a buffalo. Uh, we caught up to him in really thick stuff. Uh, we were about 10 yards from him, but the uh, wind swelled and he took off. Couldn't catch up with him again. We just continued driving. Just saw a very old bull from the truck. We went past him about a mile. We just going to stalk back and maybe we're lucky. Maybe we can get him. Yeah. yeah. He looked good. Yeah, he looked like a good buffalo. Let's go. That's right. This area is quite a wilderness area, so there's a lot of wildlife here. Uh, you need to be always be careful while out hunting. Um, there's a lot of elephant around. There's a lot. There's a lot of lions, hippos. Um, so you need to be always uh, on the lookout and be aware of your surroundings, where you're going, where you're stepping on, um, what's what might be lurking behind the next bush. Uh, but this makes this area unique that it's a um, such highly populated area in the wildlife, and there's not really any people in this area. For the rest of the day, we had a lot of buffalo counters. We saw big herds of buffalo, and um, we just uh, just didn't find the right bull we were looking for. We were looking for old animals, and um, in those herds was just nothing that we were looking for.
just had two male buffaloes in front of us, bulls, and um, I think it was 10 meters. Yeah, it was close. It was really close, but um, there was yeah. thick, mm -hmm. thick bush right in front of it, and um, I didn't want to take the risk to take the shot because I didn't see. Yeah, I couldn't well. see the vital area very well. That was the right decision. I said it's better to let them go than follow up a wounded buffalo in this thick stuff. So we just wait another minute now and then we try to follow the tracks again to get see closer. See if we can get them, yeah. yeah. It's really, really hard this terrain. It's right. tough. Each day is a hunting day. Uh, it's not always a success, uh, but the success is being outside, experiencing the wilderness, being part of the adventure. Um, a, success, a successful day is not rated by, by, by a kill, but by the adventure you've actually experienced. Just doesn't want to work out today for us. We fend up to, uh, close up to nice bulls five, six times today and yeah, just just doesn't work out. It's hunting. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. But I mean, no. luck will turn turn fast later this afternoon or tomorrow morning. But I think we've hunted hard and we've tried and we've had a lot of encounters. But yeah, just <laughs> just not luck yet. Now in the end, there were like a big herd of elephants running towards us. So yeah, everything's not coming our way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Or everything is coming our or way. Or everything is coming our way. <laughs> yeah. Day two, we, we started the same as, as on day one. We went out early in the morning, we, we picked up some buffalo tracks, we followed them. Unfortunately, again, uh, we did not encounter any any bulls that we were looking for. Found a lot of uh, bulls for the future, a lot of females, a lot of calves. There's a lot of buffalo standing there right now trying to get around them and hopefully there will be a bull uh, not so close to the water and um, yeah hope we will manage to shoot him. It's time. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs>
schießen. Schießen? Ich bin drauf. Ja, der den Kopf hochhält. Ich bin drauf. Genau in die, in die, hinten in die Falte. Ich glaube, ich war gut auf es. Er war nicht sending broad broad side, he was sending a little bit to the left. But yeah, I hope the rifle did the job. Super. So yeah, we filmed this buffalo after one and a half days of super stalking. Like I don't know how many miles we did or kilometers. It's uh, it's been quite exhausting because the there's a lot of sand here and the steps are like really soft and we're like up and down and up and down we had so many buffalo encounters as you can see in the video and it was just crazy this this area here is um is for the real for the real hunters to be honest and um it's been a um, great pleasure for me to actually come here and um to be able to harvest this animal and um yeah i hope it provides good food um and yeah, I'm just really overwhelmed with the whole situation. We did two shots on it um, <laughs> and um, yeah, he went down, he's dead now. And um, yeah, it's been a good stalk. Thank you, Emil, for yeah, giving me the opportunity. No worries, you're welcome. Uh, it was a great hunt, good shooting there and a good buffalo. Um, this will feed a lot of anti-poaching units. Yes. I have to say, Buffalo hunting is always like super high tension because you know I've, I've hunted a lot, but um, hunting big game it always gets you, it always gets you shaky because it's yeah. it's something different when you have it in the scope and you see this big massive animal, and then you know you take the shot and it's like, yeah you, you are not 100% sure, but then uh, we looked at the footage and it was it was a perfect shot as you can see and it's just. Yeah. yeah, good shooting, and it did us. Uh, dangerous game gets your blood pumping, and yeah. I mean uh, that's one of the reasons we do it. Um, but um, it's also obviously contributes to conservation. That's one of the main reasons we're doing this. And um, like we mentioned before, this is going to feed the anti-poaching units in this area. Yeah. Um, they they take care of these animals, and um, yeah, hopefully um, it'll make them happy. Well, it's it's been uh, great here. Uh, we did some. Some nice stalking and then I would really recommend everyone to come and visit a meal and um, if you're up for like a real challenge of big game hunting this is the place to go one of the true last spaces in Africa where you can hunt free-range buffalo and uh, yeah this is the place to go okay perfect so that was a successful day what's next so now that we finally got our buffalo down now the next step is to look for the next one so on day three we, we headed out, we expected to, to be out in the field again for the whole day. We were very fortunate, 10 minutes out of camp. Uh, we crossed some tracks and um, followed them and quite soon we got up to a very old dugger boy bull and got a fairly close up to him and uh, got a good shot at him and he went down so it was, was good success.
Weil man Seil. Weil man Seil. Oh. Super Büffel. I really don't know what to say. I'm just uh, yeah, really overwhelmed with the whole situation. Um, hunting big game or like buffalo in, in a national park in Namibia. And then being able to harvest this uh, yeah, magnificent animal. And we've, we've been stalking a lot in the last, last days and um, I think we really earned this um, to take a really old buffalo. And yeah, it's really, it's really like overwhelming the whole situation because it's, uh, I don't know, it gives you such an adrenaline rush to, to see him in the sights and to take the shot and then you see him going down, it's just a big relief the whole hunting. Something you don't get when, when you hunt other species. I think, I think buffalo is the, is the one species that's like really outstanding to me and um, yeah, thanks again to Emil for giving me the opportunity to hunt this in the Barwater and uh, yeah. Thank you. Amex, uh, congratulations to your beautiful buffalo. Thank you. Uh, this is really a great old bull. Um, shooting was excellent and it actually shows also in these uh, big animals that you choose the right caliber and right uh, rifle, good combination there. And um, you chose a, chose a 404 Jeffrey, perfect yeah. caliber for buffalo. Um, caliber chose uh, is quite important on, on the dangerous game and your ammo as well. Uh, you made a great choice there. Um, and um, yeah, um, what did you do to prepare yourself for this hunt? <laughs> um, I've been training a lot in the, in the shooting cinema that we have in Germany and uh, just shooting big game calibers so you can handle the recoil. I mean, it's not like everyone says, oh yeah, I can handle that. I mean, it hurts a bit when you shoot and you need to, you need to be aware what, what comes and that you can do a follow-up shot and that it doesn't matter. Uh, the shot placement, I think, is the most important and you can only do that when you're confident with the caliber you shoot. And um, yeah, that's that's what I did. Did a lot of practice rounds, and uh, yeah, I yeah, was you, quite happy. <laughs> you did great. Um, you can you can definitely tell um, that you've been uh, practicing, and you said your your caliber choice was was excellent. Like you said, a shot placement is actually more important um, than, than caliber choice, but you don't want to go too small as well. Um, legal minimum here is 375. You chose a 404, which is a perfect. Um, so yeah, and it got the job done. I mean, this buffalo didn't take more than five steps, and he went down. Yeah, um, good shot there. And, Congratulations again. Thank you. So after three three long and hard days, uh, we finally were able to, to take two buffalo. Um, the police and the, the special forces here were very happy about uh, the meat that they received and it'll keep them keep them going for a while and hope and they'll be able to take care of our area and look after our animals. Um, this hunt is actually a great win-win situation for everybody. Uh, it provides much needed meat for, for the people who are really in need of it and it provides us with, with an ex exciting experience and an adventure that we can offer to, to our clients visiting us over here.